Americanism, not globalism, will be our credo, then we can be assured that other nations will not treat America with respect, the respect that we deserve. What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American Politics, back in with a new video. And today, we have some major news that have just dropped from the Missouri Senate race. This is a big deal. This new poll that just dropped that shows there may be a new frontrunner in the Missouri Senate race. Now, before I forget, before I continue, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share it with your friends, hit the little bell, and uh, yeah. Before I forget, of course, go follow that mysterious Twitter account in the description down below. Don't know who made it, don't know who's involved with it, just uh, go follow it. I'm totally, you know, not involved, nah. But uh, yeah, so enough promotion, no more, you know, advertisement garbage. It's time we talk with this major news that just dropped for the Missouri Senate race. And to continue with last video I made about Missouri, this is another disclaimer. I support nearly all of these guys. All the candidates Republicans have in Missouri are actually all pretty good. I mean, they're not all, like, the best, but it's like, you know, they're not all bad. I mean, they're either decent or pretty solid. Like, Eric Rydens, Vicki Hartzler, Eric Schmidt, even Billy Long shows some competence on some issues. Well, a new poll just dropped from the best pollster in the country. Well, I would say second best pollster, you know. Richard Bear is still the best pollster in the country. Trafalgar, again, Trafalgar, I consider the second best pollster, shows Eric Rydens is not the front runner anymore. Instead, it's Vicky Hartzler by a point. I know that's a very close race, but this does show you that the Eric Rydens scandal stuff that did come out, which again, I'm not really, you know, believe in it. I don't really care because quite frankly, again, family court stuff, always nasty stuff that happens. Also, you know. The whole, like, oh, yeah, by the way, one of the prosecutors, you know, got charged with corruption. It's like, yeah, I wouldn't really trust the case. But the point is this. Grydance did fall by over seven points in one month, according to Trafalgar. Now, in a Senate race, you know, when you drop that far, you know, in one month by the same pollster, that's usually not a good sign. And this isn't like some garbage internal, like, well, Remington's actually kind of good, but... It's not like this crap, you know, eternal poll that shows, you know, like in Alabama, KD Brett gained 30 points in a day. It's like, this is an actual pollster that's not affiliated with any campaign. None of that. And you look at it, hearts are gained by eight points just in a month. Grydance, it really does seem like it did hurt Grydance, the whole scandal stuff. Now, the question is, will Hartzler keep this, you know, one point lead, this huge momentum swing? Eh, it's questionable, but it does appear that she is actually picking up steam. Now, for Grydens, I, th I don't think he's done. I mean, people are saying that it's over for him. It's not really. It's just, it's going to be a very close race. It's really a three-way race at this point. Grydens, Hartzler, and of course, Schmidt. Now, you look at these polls, and you go down here, and surprisingly, well, not surprisingly, these polls are actually conducted pretty good. I mean, you look at the age participation. It's basically identical to what you would expect in a Republican primary in Missouri, you know, very old, more white than the state average, I mean, 91%. Yeah, that's about right for a Missouri, you know, Senate primary. So yeah, this is actually a good poll with good demographics, nothing to really complain about. But I mean, just look at this. I mean, this was last month, all right? Eric Ryan's was at 30.5%. Now you go up here, Grydens said at 24.3%. I mean, Eric Schmidt and Grydens, both Eric's actually dropped a little bit, but, you know, quite obvious who dropped the most. I mean, the fact that Hartzler, one of the people that I didn't expect to be the frontrunner, became the frontrunner just in one month, this does show you that, hey, this idea that, you know, the Republican base is like, you know, neocon, they're not working class, that's garbage. Hartzler is, again, not the best on the issues, but still is a more, you know, outsider-type candidate. Again, all these guys are, but just, you know, I personally prefer, you know, Schmidt or Grydens, but Hartzler still is decent on the issues, and she is the one that is apparently surging. Also, Billy Long's at eight point percentage points, I mean, he was at six. But also, you look at people like McCloskey, they should just, you know, quit the race. I mean, 
it sucks. I mean, they're decent candidates, but it's obvious who the three main people are now. It's Hartzler, Bryant, and Schmidt. Now, the question is this. Who do I think is going to win as of now? Because you look at everything that's going on. You look at the trends in the polls that Remington, you know, a pretty good pollster. They're even showing that, hey, th this is, you know, trending downwards for Grindens and trending upwards for Schmidt and Hartzler. So the question is, who do I think is going to win? That is a very tough question because based on just pure momentum, it does appear that if Hartzler, you know, gets a big endorsement, like a big name. I mean, I think she has Holly. Let's see here. Yeah, she does have Josh Hawley, which is a big endorsement in Missouri. But if she gets one more huge endorsement, like Trump steps and anything like that, she's going to be the nominee no matter what. Now, if Grydens can, you know, really find a way to, like, stop this slide, I mean, he has to do it this week. I mean, the primary isn't for a little bit, I don't believe. I think it's in May sometime. It's it just a matter of if he can stop this slide immediately. If he does, Grydens could seriously win. As for Schmidt, he's kind of in a weird spot where it's like every single poll, even the one from last year, it shows that he basically, you know, he's stuck at like 25% ceiling. As for everybody else, it just seems like, you know, Gryden's ceiling was 40%. Well, that's down to 25%. Hartzler's picking up steam. Billy Long's picking up steam. It's like Eric Schmidt's in a weird spot where it's like he needs to find a way to get like a lot of those undecideds to break from. That's the only way he can win. I don't think he's going to be able to convince any of the Grydens or Hartzler voters to, you know, vote for him. He just needs to find a way to get all these undecideds because that's appear to, that appears to be his only pathway forward. I mean, you look at this. Every single poll, it's 24%, you know, 23%, 22, 23, 24, 22. Basically the same amount. I mean, even with Grydens going down, it's like he can't even pick up steam then. Eh, that may be a issue for um, Schmidt. Now, with all that in mind, it, here is, again, Hartzler, if she gets one more endorsement, I think she's been the nominee easily. If Grydens can stop the slide now and, you know, continue to actually campaign, eh, make it close. But as for Eric Schmidt, I just, I don't think the numbers are there for him right now. If he gets a huge endorsement, you know, if Trump endorses Schmidt, I think he's going to win. If he endorses Grydens, pretty sure he's going to win. If Hartzler gets the endorsement, she's for sure going to win. It's a matter of who really gets a Trump endorsement as of now. But if it is Hartzler, she's going to win no matter what. As again, for Schmidt and Grydens, even if they do get a Trump endorsement, they still got to find a way to, you know, pick up, pick off a lot of these undecided voters, which seemingly are trending towards, you know, Billy Long and Hartzler. So it's going to be a very tough, you know, climb, especially for Schmidt, in my opinion. So that's my opinion on this quick update video. If you did enjoy this video, which I hope you did, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share it with your friends, hit the little bell, and yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Godspeed to all of you.